Well, Let me you. make it. <laughs> Go ahead. My bad. Y'all. I can't hear you. Listen, we, Let me make it quick. We are the Marking Out Boys. We are here for another episode of Marking Out. For those who've been under a rock, this is Jordan Lee. Woo! And and this is my right ear that is currently dead at the moment. I saw it. But I am the most interesting man in the world. I am Tevin Wilkins along with the big guy of Rocket City. We are the Marking Out Boys. And thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you for being here with us. We love y'all. Thank you so much. We love y'all. Second episode. Man, we're hitting the ground running at this point, man. Rocket City Championship Wrestling is hosting the Sean Shocker Evans Tournament. Rest in peace to Mr. Evans. Absolutely. Uh, he's a pioneer in this game. <clears throat> and uh, he definitely made himself well-known around the business. Uh, so many legends have paid homage to him. You know, you've seen it all over Facebook. Kurt Angle, you know, one of my all-time, personal all-time favorites. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. And then you have uh, the hardcore legend himself, Raven. Did Raven have a thing? Yeah, he did. I don't remember it. What about him? What about Raven, all right? So. Oh, is that what it was? That's what it was. Awesome sauce. And then many other legends that who, who decided to, you know, pay homage to the to the man, the legend himself, Sean Shocker Evans. And today, we're going to bring you some of the most interesting, interesting commentary you heard it here first. I mean, this this is like so exciting for us. So exciting. So exciting. The tournament for Rocket City Championship Wrestling is a 16-man tournament. As far as we know. As far as we know. 16 men. 16 there, men. But there have that, been some things that we're going to discuss, but uh, as far as we know, 16-man tournament, all right? 15, as, 15 have already been announced, except that very last entrance. As well as two championship matches, the tag team titles, uh, the Superstars versus Omega Virus, in a tables, tables match. Tables match, and then and Bradley Kane is banned from ringside. So we don't... Oh, Yeastro... Go, go ahead. No. And uh, finally... Mr. Yeastro, Bradley Kane is banned from ringside. And I finally... And finally, we have the, uh, the, the RCCW World oh, Heavyweight champion. Championship, Paul Lee, the real the nature real. boy. Woo! Hashtag. Woo! Oh, that's the hashtag. I didn't notice what we against uh, the hometown hero, Nick Tramer. Nick Tramer. So what we're gonna do right now, you guys, we're gonna discuss the title matches first before we get off into the tournament. So first up, we got the Superstars versus Omega Virus. Who you got? You know what? I truly believe the superstars will retain somehow. I truly believe the superstars will retain somehow, and I think they'll find a way to win. They always do. As much as we love Omega Virus, I, I've learned you just can't count out Bradley Kane and the Kane Empire. You just can't do it. As much as we try to, as much as we would like to, it's almost impossible to do at this point. Yeah. That, that man will make a way out of no way, even though he's not Jesus. He will make a way out of no way. He will make something happen for his squad to make sure that they retain their titles. It's going to be an exciting, exciting match. A tables match, like we said. Bradley Kane's banned from ringside. But there's always the possibility that someone from the Kane empire will make their presence felt. You know, Bradley Kane is a guy who... Always makes, he always makes sure he's always two steps ahead. And that's why. What's the old saying? Bradley plays chess, chess while everybody Bradley else is playing checkers. checkers. There you go. Shout out to Bradley Kent. Uh, next, we have Paul Lee, the real nature boy, versus Nick Tramer. Now, I think Nick Tramer is going to pull out the W on this one. Paul Lee, as 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 great as he is, I think it's Nick Tramer's time, man. He's been going around tearing up the scene with a gangster lean. Mm. 
going against everybody, even when they oh so mean. Mm -hmm. Nick Tramer has fought them all, and I, I truly, truly believe tonight is Nick Tramer's night. I believe we're going to have a new champion. What say you, good sir? I say Paul Lee retains. I think Nick Tramer will win by DQ. Oh, that's a good one. Because if he's a real nature boy, he has to be the dirtiest player in the game, right? He's the dirtiest player in the game. So... He's gonna. Find I didn't a, think of that. He's, Nick, he's gonna so be. You, he's gonna be very clever. So you say Nick Tramer wins by DQ? They don't call so me the Paul most Lee, interesting man in the world for nothing. Literally, no one calls you that. But okay. And yet again, that hurts my feelings. Well, you know, I still love you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event. The whole reason we are here: the sixteen man tournament. We have. This is just a list of all the announced competitors. Uh, we have Devin Dixon, Demon Freak, Draven Lee. I hope I'm saying everybody's name yeah, right. Got it. Our guy, Luther X, Silas Mason, the Southern Heavyweight Champion, Charles Zanders. Charles. Knuckles. Yeah. Yes. Courageous. Yes. JL. All right. My guy, the seven feet tall. Towers over all Austin Towers. Okay, okay. Rudy Rislock. All right. Scott Morgan. Ryan Piles. Box Car Brawler. Blaine Evans, who we found out actually just a little while ago, will not be in attendance here that we know of. As far as we know, he will not be in attendance. Juggernaut Jeremy Flint. The Incredible Tattoo Darius Lee. And number 16 is a mystery entrant. Hmm. Out of all the people that we know are going to be in this tournament, all the people we know are going to be here, who do you have winning this whole thing? I have Knuckles. And knew, the reason why I say Knuckles... I knew he was going to say it. I knew he I, yeah, he knew, but here's the thing. Let me explain why. The reason why he's going to win it all is because he is tired of being a laughing stock. He's tired of taking L's. This stops tonight. Knuckles, he's going to shock the world. He's going to go from this incredible losing streak. And he's going to start this incredible winning streak. That's what I'm calling it. Starts tonight. He's going to be, starting tonight. Starting tonight. Knuckles is going to be the new Seth Rollins of RCCW. Knuckles freaking courageous is who Tevin has as the winner of this whole thing. Me personally... God, man, I like so many people in this tournament, and there's so many people that I haven't seen before, so I can't really gauge who they're going to be. I'm just going to say, man, I'm looking at my list, y'all, and there's so much talent on here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Austin Towers. Not just because I love the guy, but because I feel it's his time. It's it's his time here at RCCW. And you have to factor in Aaron Black could be with him. Or Dr. Trey could be with him. Because remember the last time we seen all of them, <clears throat> Dr. Trey turned on uh, Boxcar and Brax to rejoin the West Coast Kings. Very true. And we haven't heard or seen anything from him since. So since Austin Towers is here, it would not be out of the realm of possibility to say that at the very least, Dr. Trey Franklin is here. I'm going to go with Austin Towers. You say Knuckles freaking courageous. That's right. Hashtag Knuckles, Knuckles freaking, freaking courageous. courageous. Oh, I'm putting that on. That up. is amazing. <laughs> and not only is it amazing, it's interesting. <laughs> I know he's looking at me right now, isn't he? Right. You can see me in the... You know what? Oh, oh, that's right. I, <laughs> right. It's going to be a very action-packed night, you guys. Uh, all these matches are going to be amazing. The show's starting early. If you're not here, I hate that for you. Uh, if you don't come to RCCW, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. Shut your mouth. Come on, you can't... <laughs> come on now. People. I got 99 problems. Wrestling ain't one.
That's how that goes. We will be back said it. for the post show tonight, you guys. Uh, yeah, enjoy whatever I end up filming Let, to show you guys. Before we sign off real quick, last but not least, always remember, always do this. Always support, and forever. Support indie wrestling. Hashtag support, support indie, indie wrestling. wrestling. We love y'all.
Oh, God. Oh, 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 Oh God, this is why I need a... Come on, knock out! He's not that tough! Of course our picks would be facing off against each other. Of course they would. Oh no. Oh no. There are things happening with the chair. Come on, knock out! I'm just filming. Just. Uh. He broke my tent. Oh. Uh, we can fix that. I can't. For a happy I'm... price of $25. Let's go, Charles. Come on, Charles.
Oh, no, I don't like it when you do it. Oh, you can't stop that lie. That wasn't nice at all. Nah, nah, bro, you're still stupid. That that was oh. Come on, Scott. Let's go, Scott. Let's go, Scott.
I still don't know. I've been trying. I've been trying to figure that out. Well, you know. Embrace the pick. Hashtag embrace the pick. There you go, Austin. There you go. I'm glad you do too. Because I hate for you. I hate for you to be over here smelling, smelling tart. Weird. It would have been smelling like pop tarts and popcorn. Pop tarts and popcorn. Oh!
Let's go, Charles. Come on, Charles.
Ordered a wild game. <laughs>
grown men are not supposed to be in that way. Nope, not, not at all. I'm sorry to hell, but I want to Charles. Like 
we're flipping it. What? You are out of pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, he did. I'm filming, sir. <laughs>
on, man. Get your hand raised 
It's how you can raise your hand with the belt. That, my friend, is what it's all woo, about. Woo. Do this part? Maybe so. Smartest man on the planet? Most definitely. I am the man that got the plan. You the kid, that soon they will get rid. You're nothing, kid. Nothing. Now, give me a woo! That's that ruthless, that's that ruthless aggression. What's up, everybody? Oh, God. We're damn crick. Okay, there we go. Hey. Hey, we on. Is you live? We live, baby. Charlemagne, we live? Yes, sir, we live. You do kind of look like. Anyway, um, <laughs> so it is the it is the next day, per it usual. Is. Beautiful day out. <laughs> uh, last night, we went to RCCW, as y'all know, in Hazel Green, Alabama. That's right. For the Sean Shocker Evans Memorial Tournament Show at Rocket City. That's right. Uh, what'd you think about the show overall? The show overall was nothing short of amazing. I mean, everybody had a great time. All the matches were solid across the board. Everybody, you deserve a round of applause. Yes. I wish I had the sound effect thing, but, you, right. know. Yeah, you know. Later on. But, um, yeah, it, it, it was a 
really, really fun show. Every match was good. Some of them guys had to go two, three, even four matches for the winner yeah. of uh, the tournament. Had to go four matches. Um, and then, of course, the tag team match, which ended in very controversial fashion. As, as always. As expected. Uh, the, the, the world heavyweight title match, which ended in controversial fashion. Uh, overall, though, it, it was it was a really, really great show. It was definitely, it was great to see a lot of the guys that we have not seen before. Darius Lee. Oh, he was really Amazing. good. Amazing. He was Amazing really good. Guy. Jeremy Flint. Yes, sir. The Juggernaut. The Juggernaut, <laughs> who is now, at very least, top three in my favorite independent wrestlers. Y'all seen it because, you, you, you know, you had to watch the clips from... Whoo! Oh, my man. God! <laughs> we hope to see you again, man. We hope to see you back at Rocket City. We can't wait, can't wait to see you elsewhere, man. Like, we're gonna see him today. He's at he's at the show. He's oh, that's be, right. Yeah, Twin states. Right Twin now states. we're going. We're we're well. We're in the car. We're filming this, and then we're gonna head down to Twin States Wrestling. Shout out to uh, Twin States Wrestling down there. We're gonna go down there and see uh, that amazing show. But right now we are talking about Rocket City Championship Wrestling. So let's just go down. The winners of the night. First in the tag team match. Like I said in very controversial fashion. The superstars. Uh, representing the Kane Empire. Retained the tag team titles. In a table match. Where uh, Bradley Kane was supposed to be. Banned from ringside. Bradley looks kind of hot in a dress. I think he should wear more dresses often. So, uh, Bradley Kane, de deceived and duped and bamboozled and hoodwinked and swindled everybody by coming through the front door as a fan, but not just a fan, oh no. Not just any old fan. He came dressed in a, in a dress and a wig. Hashtag Brenda Kane. Hashtag Brenda Kane. It was it was hilarious to see, but he he got involved, causing uh, the superstars to put Jamie Richards. It, it's not Jamie Richards. Jamie Richards. Yes, it is. Jamie Richards through uh, through the table, so the superstars did retain. Afterwards, Savin Roberts, the New Age villain, he was not playing that. He was not pleased. He was not playing, and he put Bradley Kane through a table. What did you think about that match overall? Overall, the match was solid. I absolutely, I absolutely loved every minute of it, especially the ending. <laughs> what ending? What ending did you love? Did you love seeing Mr. Kane get put through a I table? I enjoyed every ounce and every second of it. <laughs> Just seeing him going through the pain and suffering, of going <laughs> through the table, and he he went. Through the table, y'all. It was. It was. It wasn't crazy. like a baby bump. It wasn't, you he, know, he like it, it. he got put through a table. So, you know, we may have our differences, but shout out to Bradley Kane for taking that bump. A lot of people, a lot of managers, hell, a lot of wrestlers yeah. would not have taken a bump through a table. Bradley Kane took that like a champ, and I commend him greatly for that. Now, the thing of that is, though. According to Bradley's post on Facebook, it seems as if the Superstars versus Omega Virus is done. For now. For now. For now. But then that begs the question, where do each team go? Where where does each team go? Because well, we still got the West Coast Kings, who we did see last night. They were not a tag team officially, yeah. but we did see them and Dr. Trey... We did see them and Dr. Trey uh, donning a new mask. Uh, so, you know, we got them. And there's always good, solid tag teams down here in the Southeast lurking, ready to make their mark. You know something? Superstars have had their battles with many other tag teams. I wouldn't mind seeing the Omega Virus going up against the West Coast Kings. And I also wouldn't mind seeing 
the superstars going up against the Jungle Kings. Mm. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I would love to see that rivalry. Could we renewed. see the return of the Jungle Kings to RCCW? We haven't seen them. We haven't seen them in a while. Since their shocking since defeat Con. at Wrestling Con yeah. when, when their manager, Jimmy Hart, the legendary Jimmy, Jimmy Hart. Hart, turned on them yeah. and caused them to lose the tag titles. So, will we see a return of the Jungle Kings? Will we see a new tag team form or come out of nowhere? You know, maybe two guys who've been thinking about it will want to come together and, and, and challenge for the titles or try to make their way up the ranks in RCCW. Who knows? But I personally, and I think I can speak for you when I say this, we're very excited to see what happens with the tag team titles. Now, moving on to uh, <laughs> the... Uh, RCCW World Heavyweight Championship. Let me make it clear. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, you know, let me make it clear. My name is Jordan McClain. This is not Tevin Wilkins. Oh, no. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Paul Lee and Tevin had a thing. I don't know if I recorded it. I don't remember. But it was absolutely freaking hilarious. To watch those who go back and forth. <laughs> but that's beside the point. We're here to talk about In the Ring. So, In the Ring, Paul Lee actually accepted a count-out defeat to Nick Tramer. So, technically, you were right. Nick Tramer did win the match, but Paul Lee did retain his title. That is correct. Take your feelings out of it. How did you feel about this match? The match itself was... Simply put, interesting. Interesting. It opens up the doors for this storyline to extend now. We get to see Nick Tramer and Paul Lee have a rematch. Oh, yeah. At the, uh, at the November 3rd show at and, RCCW, I do believe. And, and the craziest part of it is no count outs, no DQs. So that means... Since you know your boys are going to be in VIP front row. Shout out to Barry Koloff for making sure your boys stay VIP. Very important people. <laughs> we going to be right there in the front row to watch that match take place. I'm really excited for that match. I'm excited too. You, Y'all know. Tevin knows. I love Nick Tramer. Absolutely. We're going to see him again, uh, again tonight at the Twin States show as well where he's facing Donnie Primetime for the Twin States Heavyweight Championship. That guy's all over the freaking place. Yeah, he's, he's tearing it. And also, we up. get to see Brian Pillman Jr. Oh, yeah. Um, let's talk about the tournament real quick. Let's talk about the tournament. Uh, everybody did an amazing job. It all came down to two champions. It all came down to two champions in the finals. The Southern Heavyweight, Southern heavyweight Champion, heavyweight champion and Charles, Charles Sanders, Sanders. And the United States Heavyweight Champion in JL. Both men were exhausted Ex heading into this exhausted. match. They were exhausted, beat up. Visibly exhausted. I mean, wow. I don't know how they, they did. They still put on a five-star match. Yeah. Uh, the defeat came to Xander's pinning JL. And after the match, JL was unfortunately injured. Um, he was able to walk out in his own power. It seemed like he was favoring his shoulder, collarbone area. Uh, we do wish JL a speedy recovery. We hope Absolutely. he's okay. Uh, congrats to Charles Zanders. My guy! The Charles era, Zanders. The era of Zanders continues. Rock home with your bad hey. He won. He is the winner of the Sean Chocker Evans Memorial Tournament. The first annual. Yes, that's right. He goes down in history as the first winner of the Sean Shocker Evans Memorial this Tournament at is, Rocket City Championship Wrestling. This guy is on a roll. He is on a freaking he, roll. Charles Zanders is the man. JL is the man. He's always been the man. Absolutely. But... We, we might be seeing a changing of the guard in RCCW now. We might. Charles Sanders, he, he's, he won the title from Travis Locke. That's right. He defeated JL to become the first winner of the Sean Tucker Memorial Tournament. I would love to see him beat Paulie. 
I would love it. Let me make it clear. He ain't gonna make it clear after this video. I'm just... Charles Sanders is coming for everybody. We really gonna put a target on his back like this? Why not? Why not? I think he. I I think he could handle it. I think he could take. Listen, like I said, he's taken out Travis Locke, mm -hmm. which not very many men can say that they've done. He's taken out JL, which not very many men can say that they've done. He's a champion in RCCW. I think he already has a target on his back. I mean, you know, we, we can talk about Paul Lee being the world heavyweight champion, but Travis, uh, not Travis, Charles Travis Sanders. Sanders. I don't know, man. He, he might be one of the best on the roster. I think he is. And of course, we're. I believe at the October 20th show, it was announced today. Mm -hmm. I do believe it'll be Charles Sanders versus Joshua O'Hagan for the that's Southern Heavyweight title. That's going to be a lot of fun. I do believe we that that's what to was announced. We can't wait to see O'Hagan. We can't wait to see Sanders and those two go at it. Absolutely. This is going to be a great wrestling match. Last night was an absolutely fantastic show. I'm uh, glad by, we by, got... By the way, shout out to the West Coast Kings for not killing me. Thank, thank you. Shout out to, the, and more importantly, shout out to Aaron Black yeah, yeah. for giving me a, a good nightmare last night. Um, and uh, shout out to Trey Franklin for like scaring him as well. They both scared me. Um, it was it, and it was ridiculous. They they both scared me. Thank you both. Um, I almost pissed myself last night on both occasions. I I don't appreciate it, but because I'm fearful of you guys, thank you. And also, um, it was for a lot of fun. You know, they, they let me uh, join them for a night and let me. Hashtag heel turn Tevin. Uh, Austin Towers allowed me to hold up his banner. If you guys did not see it, go follow us on Instagram at Marking Out Boys and go like our Facebook page, the official Facebook page. Just go ahead and search Marking Out you'll find us on uh, on Facebook. And like I said, follow us on Instagram at Marking Out Boys. Follow us individually. I am on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Jordan Terrell. And I am on Twitter as PPD underscore 22. And I am on Instagram as PPD 22. You will get all kinds of exclusive stuff from the shows that we hit up um, on those platforms. We'll definitely be putting it on our official Instagram and our official Facebook page. Both pages get exclusive content. So make sure you're following both just so you get all the content. So next show, October 20th, I don't think anything other than Charles Sanders versus Joshua Hagen has been announced for that show. I'm really excited to see what happens at RCCW. Twin States, well, by the time this goes up, it'll be... We'll, we will have already seen the show. But Twin States Wrestling, we are on our way down to Hansville at the Hansville Civic Center to see you guys. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Always, always support indie wrestling. Shout out to the Smarks Podcast. Make, be sure to follow them on all their social platforms. Absolutely. Smokey, Smokey, Keith Courageous, you know them. You'll see them as soon as you find their page. And, and uh, any views with Ken, Ken and Tom, uh, Kenneth Hopkins, uh, uh, please follow him as well on all his social platforms. Search his great, name. Great, great interviews with a bunch of independent wrestlers. By the way, we love you guys. Thank you for all the support. And always support indie wrestling. We love y'all.